Hey everyone, it's me, Jessica Brigden of Just Be Creative Cardiology. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are here for From the Heart Friday, session 42. How awesome is that? We're like just 10 weeks away from a whole year of From the Heart Friday videos. And I wanna thank you guys so much for all the love that you've been showing me by subscribing to my channel and liking my page and, and leaving me comments and, and that really just uh, warms my heart and I love it. Actually, I'm having a great day today. I feel much better. I know with this quarantine some days, they're kind of our emotions are, are up and down, but today I am having a great day and I hope you are too. I hope I can bring a little bit of cheeriness to your day. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Diana. So I look forward to these videos. I look forward to these all week. I hope you guys do too. Today I have a really awesome uh, technique card for you. It's called the double easel fold because it does, let me show you, it does a step out. So it's like one, two. So double easel. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys that today. It's just me today. Although it sounds like you guys really enjoyed having my husband stamp with us last week. You guys <laughs> really showed him the love. We gained 40 new subscribers on our YouTube channel uh, from his video last week. <laughs> so, so show me the love so I don't get a complex and think you like him more than me. <laughs> no, we had a really great time stamping together. And uh, from your comments and things, um, it sounds like we might try to incorporate that and make it perhaps a um, maybe a monthly feature. What do you guys think of that? So <laughs> it's definitely fun. All right, so today we're doing the double easel and I'm gonna play with some of the ornate garden products because of course that paper, that uh, designer series paper is absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm flip this around here and we'll get started. Okay, so every week I try to make this smooth. Every week it's just kind of a hot mess, but one of these days with all this new technology I'm learning here during our quarantine or <laughs> social distancing, perhaps I will get it right one of these days. You do see I have my hostess coat up here for April, R2FDC7DT. That is my code for April if you'd like to shop with me. Okay, so you might notice this is not the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. That is in fact, Everything is rosy. This is the Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden. Hey, Monica. So what I did, I was actually, um, if you have been getting my monthly uh, tutorial bundles for your orders or as part of my team, I'll give you a heads up that for May, our tutorial bundle will be all about fun folds. And as I was kind of playing with some different folds, I ran across this card that I actually made a year ago. This is on my blog. So my blog is justbecreativecardiology.com. And I thank you for sharing, Pam. Hey, Doris. So last May, I made this card using the Everything is Rosie product medley. And actually now, the Everything is Rosie medley is still available. It's in the clearance rack there at Stampin' Up!, and you can get the whole product medley for just, I think it's $44, which is an amazing savings because it includes the stamp set and the paper. Um, you get some rose gold elements and shimmer, all that fun stuff. So I made this with the Everything is Rosy. And I thought, well, why not recreate that, that similar card look? I'm going to do what I can here so that you guys can actually see how it works. Um, and so I'm going to recreate that today in a couple different ways or a couple different colors anyways, with the Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden Paper, which is equally as gorgeous. So I'm going to play with this all over floral garden pattern. I have some gold foil elements here. So we've been, been using the, this is the Ornate Style Bundle. So you can of course purchase all the, the pieces in the, um, ornate garden sweet a la carte or you can actually get them bundled together so this is one of the bundles it's the ornate style stamp set and these are the ornate frames dies 
So the one in particular that I used today is this little one here. It's gorgeous. I've been getting a ton of use out of these, and I absolutely love that these frames also coordinate with Stampin' Up's stitched rectangle framelits. So all these different sizes of rectangles fit perfectly inside of the ornate style frames. Hey, Mary Jo, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, so love, love, love these products. And I thought we could use some springy, cheery cards today, especially since the cold weather has returned to New York. We've had snow for the past couple days and are predicted to get more tonight. <laughs> Ah, anyways, <laughs> I am ready for spring to be here. So we're going to play with some springy colors. So let's start with some terracotta tile. You guys know that is like my new favorite color of the season. So you might notice that this time our cardstock is cut to four and a quarter by 11. So we're folding this vertically this time. Usually I do uh, cards the other way, cut it five and a half by eight and a half. But today we are working with four and a quarter by 11 and we're doing a vertical fold there. So this is scored at the five and a half inch mark. No Doris, no David today. <laughs> he is in the office today, but we will bring him back. <laughs> Yes, we'll definitely make him a regular visitor on our From the Heart Friday series here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could talk him into it. We could get him his own little, we could do our own series. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're starting out with this. All of these measurements and everything are, of course, they're in the comments. Oh, Bruno has serious competition. <laughs> I will tell David that. Maybe we could get David and Bruno. We could do like a Zoom and have them uh, go <laughs> head to head. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I should suggest that to Kylie. She might like that. <laughs> Aw. All right, so for this project, you do wanna have your, um, I love the Stampin' Trimmer because it has both the cutting and the scoring lines on here. And of course, it's got the arm that extends all the way to 17 inches because we've got our card base, kind of setting that aside for now. And the next piece we need, um, I'm using early espresso here. And this is cut to just four inches by 11. So we're gonna add a couple of score lines on here. So the first one, we're gonna move our card in. And I actually, I did pre-score these just so I could remember. But um, we're gonna be using eighths of an inch today. So the first score line, this is along the 11 inch side, is at two and seven eighths. So you can go to the two inch mark, and these are the, not the smallest teeny tiny, but these other ones. So two and seven eighths inch is the first one. And then we're gonna move it over, and let's see here, five and three quarters. So five and three quarters, we're gonna do our second score line. So just remember when you're doing this, the light gray is the scoring one. You don't want to slice your cardstock um, this time. This time we're just going to score with the light gray. Okay. So this is, again, it's four inches by 11. Rotated it to the 11 inch side. And it's scored at two and seven eighths and five and three quarters. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Okay, so now you're going to see how this starts to take shape. The reason that this was four inches is it's actually going to layer on top of our card base. So I'm going to get my snail adhesive handy here. All right, lots of this on. All right, make sure your card opens the way it's supposed to. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go right on here. We have a quarter of an inch border all the way around. Okay, 
And then this is where our designer series paper comes in, the Stampin' Up! Ornate Garden Paper. So I have cut this. This actually is three and three quarters by five. Okay, hi Anne. So I've got a couple different, I thought I'd do two color combinations on here. So I've got a couple of pieces I've already loved and chopped and I just wanna make sure that so this one has more of the like terracotta flowers and this one has more of the daisies. So I'm gonna, let's see here, do my daisies together and I'll do my little terracotta flowers together. So this is going to go right on top. So it might look complicated, but this is actually a really easy card to put together. It's just gotta, Got a few more layers. Okay, so now we're gonna fold up. So go ahead and smooth that out. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this one down. So you see how it kind of it folded all the way up and then it folded back in half. So, hey Bonnie, you are live today with me. Yay, I'm glad you caught me. Okay, so this little panel, this is gonna go on our little flap here. And let me see, this one is three and three quarters inches long. So three and three quarter, and it is just two and a quarter wide. Okay, so this is gonna go on the little, little flap. And I'm putting this a little bit down towards the bottom. So you notice it doesn't take up quite the whole thing. But that's okay because I'm going to be using the ornate frames uh, that I cut out here with the gold foil paper because it gives it that gorgeous bling on there. And it's actually kind of neat that this die in particular kind of has like a, you can count the middle of it right there. So I'm going to put that right on my designer series paper edge so that it's somewhat hanging off and some on there. So I'll put my dimensionals on the back here and I wanna make sure that it's not going to, um, I wanna be able to still move my card. Hey, Wendy. All right, so I'm just going to put the dimensionals. So, because this is gonna flip here. So when it's upside down or on the back side, I'm just putting them above kind of this middle Mark So just two on that top half, because that way when I go ahead and peel these off and stick them to my card base, again, using that middle, kind of those little middle marks to line right up on my paper. All right, that way, do you see how it's still, so it doesn't move? It, it does move, it's not glued down, okay. So it's starting to come together. What do you guys think so far? It's kind of pretty, huh? Okay, so then I've used, like I said, I've used the, um, the stitched rectangle framelits uh, because I wanna do a little place there where I can stamp my greeting. So what did I do? I've got, yep, just a little one. I used, I used the, I use this tiny one, the small one here in the middle, so it's the smallest on this side. Thank you, Pam. Hey, Lisa. Yes, so we are making, we've kind of got the assembly all together here for our double easel, and again, it's a double because it folds out once and then twice. There we go, so you can see it this way. This is what your card should look like when you're, <laughs> if it's being assembled correctly. Okay, so just our little piece of Whisper White here, and I thought we needed a cheerful greeting. So I actually pulled out, unfortunately, I have not actually used this stamp set before. This is Inspiring Iris, and I absolutely love this. It says, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody needs a card that says something like that right now. I love that because a card is, is just a hug with a fold in the middle, right? So yeah, I thought that would be the perfect greeting. 
So I'm gonna stamp that in some terracotta tile ink because our, again, our card base is terracotta, so that's what I'm working on this one. So I'm gonna grab that greeting here and find a, oops, find a little block for it. Okay. Try not to, oh, I already stuck my finger in it. Good thing I wear jeans because then you can wipe your fingers on your pants, right? All right, so I'm gonna just stick that right in there. Oh, beautiful. And then we'll add some adhesive. Yes, Lisa, I love the gold foil elements and, and the ornate garden paper pack. And I love that these stitched rectangles coordinate so perfectly with these ornate layer dies. So I've stuck that right in there. And that's pretty, I could kind of leave it like that, but I don't know, you know I'm not going to. I did pull out somewhere, somewhere here, I had some gilded gems too. Oh, here they are. Yes, so we'll definitely use some of those. Hey, Mary Beth. Hello, how are things in Florida? Oh, I wish we were down there now. But I'm not really advised to do any traveling right now, so I guess we'll be staying home and we'll, uh, I told my husband, like, thank goodness we have a hot tub because at least then we can go soak in that and pretend we're on a little mini staycation. <laughs> All right, so what I thought I would do is I pulled out, again, a couple of the stamps uh, from the Ornate Style set. And I thought, well, maybe we'd add a couple of these cute little flowers, or maybe even a daisy. I think maybe I'll do the little flowers. So what I've got is just, this is just a scrap of paper. You can tell I cut my stitched rectangles from it. But I thought I'm gonna stamp this in early espresso. And I'll do just a tad of fussy cutting. You know me, I really don't like fussy cutting, but on occasion, I will do it. So let me just cut out a couple of these. I might only use one. We'll see. Well, let's stamp three for good measure, right? Okay, I can always use them for something else. So with that, I've got my, my blends. And of course, you guys may have noticed we don't have an actual terracotta tile blend, but we do have Cajun Craze. And we don't have crushed curry, but I've been using uh, Mango Melody. Hey, Blanche. <laughs> How are you? I'm getting crafty today. And then for my flower center, so that it's not too overwhelming, um, I've been using some soft suede as well. Hey, Janelle. Boy, lots of viewers today. I love it. All right, so let's color some pretty flowers. I'm going to use the bold, just the firm tip of my markers here and just accent some of these darker highlighted spots. I mean, I love that Stampin' Up! does all of that work for us. All right, and then I'm gonna take my lighter color and just color that in. That way you can see the highlights still, okay? And then let's do, you know, I'm not gonna worry about the center because I'm gonna add a little gem to the center. And then I'm gonna use some old olive. That's the perfect green. So again, using the bold tip of the darker color. I am gonna just highlight those. And then I'll go in with my lighter one and just fill that in. Okay. Well, let's start with one and see how that looks. So I've got my, my snips here. We'll just do a little bit. Yes, all good things come in threes, Doris says, exactly. So that's why I cut three. I can either use them all or save them for another project or cover up a boo-boo or whatever. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna fussy cut this a little bit. This isn't too much. There's not, unfortunately, there are not dies to die cut the flowers in this set, you get the frames, there's borders, which are beautiful. Um, but as far as the flowers, well, those we just have to fussy cut a little bit ourselves. But 
Some people actually find that therapeutic. I don't know. I had other people that <laughs> would come to my classes and they would ask, uh, bef- prior to signing up for the class, they would ask, is there going to be fussy cutting involved? And if I would say yes, <laughs> then they'd say, sorry, not come into that class because <laughs> they absolutely did not like fussy cutting. But, so I try to be really good about that. So I'm going to just put a little dimensional on the back of this flower. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think that looks kind of cute, right? Just kind of simple, not too overwhelming. Just the one on there. And we'll use our gold gilded gems. Um, you can tell I've been using these. They're just about used up. So my smallest size, they come in three sizes and I've actually used the smallest size already. I have some more on order. I but that order won't be here until probably next week. So I'm just gonna put that right in the, hey Gladys, put that little gilded gem right there in my flower center. So I love that, it's kind of simple, not overwhelming, it looks fancy, but it's actually really easy to make. So like I said, I've included the cut measurements and I've posted them in the comments for you guys so that you can see. So this is the double easel. And oh, I almost forgot the inside. I did cut some panel of um, Whisper White to four by five and a quarter. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna just tape this inside, especially if you're working with um, dark colored cardstock as your card base. Then you can go ahead and add pretty little accent on the inside. And then, oh, I had some of that ink still inked here we could do could add a little flower let's do that let's just add a little flower to the inside cute huh <laughs> I like sweet and simple all right so that's the first one so I'm going to show you again but this time I'm going to use a slightly different um, color combination we're going to start with some um, crushed curry as our card base instead uh, the big flower, actually, it's not bad. Um, I did, I think it was two weeks, two weeks ago? One of these weeks. Uh, when did I do a video for that? Let me see if I can find it in my little stash. Yes, uh, I think that was two weeks ago, Friday, where we made uh, this card. It was, I called it my rainbow uh, panel card and I die cut or I didn't die cut I fussy cut the large bouquet here from the ornate style and it didn't take too long um, the edges are fairly easy it's not too intricate and I didn't go into the itty bitty um, portions of it so yeah that's not too bad to fussy cut uh, so Dianus is glad I am demonstrating this one <laughs> yes all right so let me show you again so this time we are starting with crushed curry and our card base, again, so this was just, essentially it was just a full full sheet of card stock, but instead of being cut at the five and a half mark like we usually do, this was cut at the top at the four and a quarter mark, okay? So this one is four and a quarter by 11. And if you were to score it, you'd score it at five and a half. We're just gonna fold it there instead. So we're just folding this at half at the five and a half inch mark. And then we're just gonna set that aside. So again, I've pulled out, um, I wanted a contrasting layer just to make those flowers pop. So this contrasting layer is early espresso. This is just a little bit, a little bit smaller. So this one is cut actually to four inches. It's still 11 long, but it's only four inches wide. And this one, again, we scored. So you slide this in your, slide this in your trimmer. Make sure your cut blade is out of the way. You just want the little light gray scoring blade. And you're going to slide this over to two and seven eighths, and then to five and three quarters. Okay, so just two score marks there. 
And then on the large portion, that's where we're going to adhere our designer series paper. So this one has more of the daisy pattern. I'm putting that up at the top. So this is three and three quarter by five. And tape that down. Okay. Again, leaving just a little, like a quarter of an inch around the top. And actually I can glue this to the card base. I hope you guys will give this a try. You can even, um, if you're watching here on Facebook, then you can actually, if you make this card, you can post a photo in the comments for me. Or you can share it in, um, if you're in my customer group as well. All right, so I've done that. We're gonna fold this up. So go ahead and just kind of, there you go. And then we're gonna fold it down and again, Make sure that crease is nice and smooth. We're gonna take our little piece. So let's see which way I wanna think. Uh, I don't want my daisies to be like upside down. I guess we'll go this way. So this was two and a quarter, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Again, this is just gluing right down. So I love fun folds. I love things that look amazing, but I don't like things that are like overly complicated. So that's why I love this card because it looks all fancy and everything, but it's actually really easy to put together. So again, I've die cut one of the ornate frames with the gold foil paper. I'm gonna put just two dimensionals on the back there. I'm using up my dimensional sheet, so let's see, I'll put two of those on here and peel off the backing. And we're only putting two because we don't want to interfere with the foldability of our card. So we're gonna stick those, kind of use those little middle notch lines, line them up on your designer series paper. All right, and that way your card still, still moves. And then let's see here, where did I do with it? I had my other little, there we go, the little stitched rectangle that I cut out. I think I'm gonna stick with that, um, that pretty little greeting, but I'm afraid if I stamp it in the crushed curry that it might not show up. So I'm gonna stamp this with early espresso instead. Get that right out of there. That came out great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close my terracotta ink pad too so I don't stick my arm in it. This we can stick down. Okay. Just right on top. Oh yes, if you subscribe to um, Paper Pumpkin, Doris reminded me that in the Paper Pumpkin kits we got each month, there's always a little sheet of dimensionals in there. Yeah, I have this habit. I, I use the inside out and then I go through and I actually trim all the little border pieces. So with the dimensionals, nothing is wasted. I use every little last piece. <laughs> I am frugal that way. And actually it's a good thing. Um, because there for a little while, the Stampin' Up! Uh, snail, the tape runners were, the refills were unavailable for a little bit. Thankfully, they just got a brand new shipment in, so so we don't have to worry about running out of adhesive while we're home working on all our craft projects. So let's do this one just a little bit different. Um, let's see here. Uh, do I want a fussy cut? All right, I thought I might be brave and fussy cut the little daisy image here from the ornate style stamp, but you know what? I think I might I might chicken out, and I'll have to add this to the um, to the the comments. Uh, I pulled out my Daisy Lane stamp set just in case, and I've got my this is the medium Daisy Punch. So I think maybe what if we stamp. How about we stamp a daisy 
stamp a daisy instead. Okay, what did I do with that? I put, oh, here it is. Pulled it out. Now let me grab my, do I wanna grab crushed curry? Well, let's, how about, I've always, yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna do the crushed curry. I thought maybe I might stamp it in espresso for a little bit, but we'll just go ahead and do um, crushed curry. Actually, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some extra white because we need two layers for this, not just one. Let me see. Okay, good. I've got some extra white. I knew I had some hanging out here somewhere. So when you are stamping the daisy stamp to then be cut with the punch, you wanna make sure that you are stamping those middle lines perpendicular, so straight up and down. Okay, stamping out to the outside of your paper so that when you actually go to punch it, that the punch will slip right in there and line right up. Okay, you wanna make sure you do that so you've got just a little bit of wiggle room. So that one came out just a little bit lighter. I'll put that as my, I'm gonna layer the two of these. I'll put the darker one on top. It sounds like I, looks like I need to uh, re-ink my ink pad just a little bit. But this is where those um, little pieces of dimensional, of course we have many dimensionals, but I'm just gonna cut off a little hunk here. Stick that in the center of my flower. And then layer those. I'm gonna turn them so that the petals fit within each other. Okay. And then we'll add another little little snippet of dimensional to the back side. Now we'll take our card. So I'll move that so you can see the finished ones here. How about we do that? I'll put this over here. Again, I'm keeping it, I'm making sure it's still on the frame there so that you um, make sure you can still open your card, make sure your petals are within the width of your card so that they don't get chopped off when you stick it in an envelope. Okay, and let's grab a gilded gem. Again, I love these, these are perfect for the flowers. Do I want a little one? Let's try, let's go for the big one. All right, let's do the big one in there. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay. So we've got our gorgeous gilded gems. Fancy, fancy on here using Stampin' Up's Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, as well as the Ornate Style Bundle with the stamp set and the Ornate Frames dies. And then our sentiment we pulled in from Inspiring Iris. And... Then we added in the medium daisy from the Daisy Lane stamp set with the Daisy Lane punch. So all kinds of good things. I hope you guys will give this double easel fold a try. I just love it. I think, I think they're super cute. And I don't know about you guys, but definitely sending more cards here lately. But I've got lots and lots, so. Uh, if you're in the U.S. and you need cards, of course, I'd love to teach you how to make them, but if you'd like some already made, leave me a message, too. I've got some bundle pricing on <laughs> some of my card stash there, so I can, I can hook you up with some cards. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching here on From the Heart Friday with me. I hope you'll join me again next week, and I'll be sure to pull in my hubby for... A special stamping session again soon. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great afternoon. Have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye everybody.